Welcome guys, welcome, welcome again to the channel. Thank you guys for the followers. Thank you guys for being watching my videos. I appreciate it very much for helping me uh, grow my channel. Thank you so much. Um, all right, but if you're new on the channel, here is my channel here, more in depth, where we focus about right now. I'm focusing about creating this online store, and uh, you can actually continue watching the tutorials, the videos. Um, this is the new one where I'm updating the application from uh, the net five to the net eight. And uh, here was, uh, let me show you guys the the actual GitHub. You can actually download it from there. So every time I'm updating on something or doing something new, you can actually get it from here. So the application here, it is, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I'm working on the dash panel. So um, what I did is uh, these here, these numbers actually coming in from the like products, for example, if you click on it, it gives you here like the uh if you have any products um for example here i have the one for the to-do list so all of that like see if i have three three items from the to-do list it will show there on the dashboard and they on there here see to-do list my daily stuff uh let's say somebody decided to send me a message so i have it here see i can click on it uh let's say i did give a uh, I put a pose I have one single one see it's right there so if we go over here to the block see I have one right there oh sorry um you can go to read more that gives you the uh the, the detail page but anyways let's go back to the panel and go back okay so here so how did I accomplish that? I actually let me go. I'm gonna to have to go back to the application here. So here, what I end up doing is I end up creating a view, a folder, a view, a view model folder inside the view models. Uh, so it's gonna be over here, uh, where it says view models. And I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So inside there, I end up creating one. It says dashboard view models. So here, what I did is I end up grabbing, uh, I end up grabbing uh, the products. So I ended up using a, a public a list of products, a list of to-do lists, a list of my messages, a list of my posts. That's one step that I did. The second step will be the uh, you will have to go into wherever the dashboard is, which is uh, over here. Let me go back. Areas inside. I have inside here my dashboard. So inside here, what I end up doing is I end up create. Um, I end up using the application DB context here. I inside my index, which that's where the view is. So I end up I end up uh, creating a variable, which is a bar model, and then I end up uh, using new dashboard view model. So here I injected the uh, application DB context inside the controller. So in here I end up using I'm in the grand model that products once I inject it into this uh, this function here, this argument. So then I end up doing the context product that uh, to list, and then I return it the models which is all this. So that's how I was able to um, um, access the uh, uh, the view model. So then you have to go inside the uh, inside the index page, which is over here. So inside there, I end up using uh, a current model, view model, dashboard, view models. And uh, so here I end up using, uh, I end up doing, this here models dot product dot count. If it's equal to zero, it's going to show zero. So let me go back to the dashboard. See, it shows zero. Now, if you have items on it, uh, if you have items like, oh, hold on, let me go back. So if you have items, and it will show like the to do list. See how it says. So if there's some items. Please count it. If not, show zero. That's what I'm doing there. Uh, this here is just a shortcut. Instead of using the if statement, you can just do you can just do this. Um, okay, so I did the same thing for messages. Same messages, and then uh, so the next one I'm probably here I'm thinking about to do is the uh, pie chart over here. But yeah, so see, um, so let's say you log into the dashboard. You log, log in and you click on it. Let's say you got messages. You know, somebody sent you a message. So let me show you how I got the messages. Uh, let me go back on type page. Let's say somebody 
somebody wants to reach out to me and I'm going to say, so let's just create a name. Okay, and then I'm just going to make up a name. Oh, I'm sorry, email. All right. Uh, checking for my checking for my tracking. What is it? Tracking tracking number. So then I'm going to send the message. So the message has been sent. So then I'm going to go back to the uh, to the admin panel. Right now I have it. See, so the message is right there. So the first one says Martin Debs. This one here. So yeah, so then if you go to the dashboard, let's say you log in in the morning, you log in, see, now it says it shows that I have two messages. Uh, same thing if I wanted to create another pose. Uh, so I go here to pose, input pose. So let's say I want to create a pose. Let's create a, this is going to be another uh, crazy, crazy pose. Uh, this is amazing channel with ASP, ASP .net core. Okay. The tax is going to be web development and it's going to be technology, technology. And here it's going to be, I'm going to put down, this is another great, this is another great video. All right. So that's that. Let me grab a picture. Let's pick a picture. So let's go back to pictures. Uh, let's pick, uh, no, that's not what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick, uh, yeah, let's do this one. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do logo. All right, so let me hit submit. So now if we go to the blog, it shows the second one. So another thing too, I don't know if you notice, it shows the date when I post it, you know, and you can read more about it. And the same thing, the the post actually shows what date I posted, this one here, which it was yesterday, the 26th. Yeah. So that's pretty cool about the post. All right. So that's that. And uh, but yeah. Let me see. Let me go back to the panel. So, yeah, this is the admin panel. Oh, also another thing, too, that I changed the, uh, instead of calling it panel, I just, I now changed it to dashboard. So, this here, I did change it to dashboard. So, if you want to do that, you can actually go into the, uh, inside the controllers and change this one here, put it a uh, dashboard instead of uh, panel. And that automatically would change. So, um. And also another thing too that I end up changing inside my products. They uh, inside the models I end up using uh, inside the products here. So I end up changing this to name right here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys. All right. Well, that was it. That's that. Um, so feel free to check it out. You can download it from the GitHub. I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do the pie charts over here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna use this whole area to the pie charts, and uh, and we'll we'll see how. Right now, it's not showing login because I I took that out. So whenever you log in, because I'm I was working on this, but I will I will I will create the uh, only authorized um, admin panel or user that is registered can only access this right here i'm gonna change that but anyways guys feel free to message me feel free to check it out you can actually go to my links i have some links here so if you new to the channel you haven't you haven't been before so you can actually go here to inside the github or you can go you can check my website there uh you can uh check more videos there where i have you know like if you're working in your personal your personal project you feel free to check uh check it out here um and also don't forget to watch these other videos where you, you know you can deploy to uh netlify and hear another one too how to uh github you know how to um upload your gif um i'm sorry your your video into a github so that way people can see it so um so yeah so this year so you can 
you can continue watching the how I'm doing the .NET point a e commerce and uh, or you can do you can do the one over here with .NET five, which is it's still doable, still usable. So so feel free to check it out. And uh, anyways, guys, uh, I would like to hear from you guys. And if you guys is following along and how I would like to hear how your project is coming along. So share that with me. Any questions, any feedbacks that you might have. So I'm working little by little, you know, creating this e-commerce. Um, it's it's just, uh, it's just amazing how I can, uh, you know, how ASP.NET Core um, is helping me create this uh, online store. So pretty cool. Anyways, guys, all right. So I'll leave you with that right there. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Um, I'll be thinking about making some other videos about maybe some um, do some mobile applications, something like that. But we'll see how that goes. Um. All right, guys, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe, and uh, stay coding. And keep your mind positive. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't give up, and let's continue coding. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Good luck to you guys. Bye-bye.